Hoosiers continue to raise money for the citizens of Ukraine. A local cinema found a unique way to raise thousands of dollars for the country. Earlier before going out to Beach Grove, Mike Sullivan is now showing us this. A witness to history. At times, that's how life feels in 2022. I know they're just glued to the news and just constantly watching. As violence continues to strike the streets of Kyiv. I just felt like I have to do something. Zina Kumak could no longer just watch. Her family immigrated to the U.S. from Ukraine when she was young. I felt all this guilt. The connection to her homeland growing with each gruesome image on a screen. Kumak is a member of the Can Can Theater in Indy. As a staff, we kind of met. We're like, what can we do? That's when she reached out, asking them to raise money for Ukraine by showing a documentary called Maidan, a film about the protests and revolution in Ukraine in 2014. There are these students, and they were peacefully protesting and they got beat up. They had been protesting the actions of their Putin-allied president. They wanted a more Western democracy. Then the protests went from being really small to being huge. Um, I think some estimates say there were 800,000 people who came out. More than 100 protesters died during clashes with police. There's such a strong correlation between that revolution and what's happening now. Enough so that the seats started to fill. We only had tickets up for one week, and by the weekend, we were like, we better move this into the big house in our 150-seat theater. And then by Monday, we were almost sold out in both houses. They raised $3,000 for an organization called Rezam. Which is a Ukrainian nonprofit that actually birthed out of the Maidan revolution. And they're delivering medical supplies, um, tactical defense supplies, and helping evacuate people out of the country. It just goes to show even if Hoosiers didn't have a direct connection to Ukraine, they wanted to help out. In the Near East Side, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. If you missed the showing, it's still available for rent from certain on-demand services. Now, if you want to donate, we will have a link to do so on our website.